You're three years from collecting Social Security. What up, Bob? Three. What up is your credit score? What up, Bob? Three. Bitch, if you don't stop. You might drown in my ocean. Hello. Hello, Sky. Good afternoon. Jeff in Las Vegas. Hi, Jeff in Las Vegas. How you doing? <laughs> I am doing great. I am so excited to talk to you. I love a Black Lady Sketch Show. It's one of my favorites. And I, I'm telling you, you really helped me through the pandemic with your those first two seasons. They were just hysterical. So, oh man, I'm excited. And you win for best background of the day. I mean, uh, <laughs> I had to do it upright for you. <laughs> you sure did. Well, season three is now on HBO and streaming on HBO Max. Uh, I, I love your motto for the show. We value authenticity above everything else. Is that your motto for the for for all the um, all the sketches and for all the all the yeah. great comedy? Authenticity and I think also just joy, right? This whole show is, the entire premise is just to give people an escape from reality, to give people a break from the chaos and and we just want people to laugh. So we we really just value authenticity but also just pure joy. And you take me through a typical writing session. Do you draw upon personal experiences? Because some of these sketches just seem, they had to have happened to somebody. <laughs> Right. Well, so at how it works is the, the writer's room happens a few months before the show. I'm not a, a writer on the show. I get to improvise, so I kind of get to write later. Um, but, you know, the sketches are developed and then we we get them in and we go, OK, how do I envision this character? What do I think she will speak like? How do I think they'll move? And then from that, we're able to improvise in character. And a lot of that makes this season. So there's a lot of lines in there that were not written. Well, there's so many cast members. Is, is there fighting over like, I want to play this character in this sketch? Or is it, if you draw it from a lottery? How does that work? Okay, well, the process is kind of crazy. Everybody always goes, wait, what? Uh, we audition for every single existing part. And we do it in a round table. So we sit in a room, we have lunch, and we basically read uh, you know, every single person reads every single part and you show your take on it, you show your spin and then the writers and Robin decide who makes sense for what part. And so I'm sure, you know, sometimes it's disappointing, but then you have to be real with yourself and go, okay, you know what? She made so much more sense as a teacher. Got it. I'm supporting her. I'll have another part to play with. <laughs> and your show has such diversity in front and behind the camera, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we have the most amazing crew, the most amazing team. Our director, Bridget Stokes, is fantastic. And, you know, I always say it's like, of course, you see the cast and you think about us working together, but there's so many moving parts behind the scenes that make this happen from designing every wig to every eyelash to wardrobe to lighting. We just have the most spectacular crew. I love them so much. And Robin Thiecci is the center of the show, isn't she? Yes, so Robin created the show. She's one of the writers, uh, executive producers. She brought this to life, and, and I'm just so grateful to be to be on the journey. You know, we have over 40 guest stars in this series. Are they waiting in line to get a spot? And because it's almost like a who's who. <laughs> Right. It's it's always exciting. We never know who's coming into play. So about a few days before they go, oh, by the way, uh, Wanda Sykes will be here on Friday. And we go, what? So it's super exciting because uh, every season they're different. Some people come back to play multiple times, but I hope people are knocking on the door to come in and play with us. We'd love it. Now, is there a particular character that you're fond of that you played in this show? I know it's probably impossible with so many different sketches, but was there one that stood out for you? Yeah, I... In season two, it would definitely be, uh, I'm robbing a bank and I'm dressed up as like this crazy character who talks like this. I loved her. And then uh, so far season three, I played a teacher in the Hadassah sketch and it was only like a few lines, but I loved how quirky and strange she was. And, you know, I, I moved my body really strange and, you know, it's just, it's this really weird character. And so I would love to see more of her, but I, I try to challenge myself to make even the most out of the small parts because there's still magic there to play with. You know, this season I had, I woke up my roommates. I'm like, you got to come see this show. <laughs> yeah. They were dying at the hidden figures, time travel. I mean, you were yes. just like, 
I, I just don't understand how you guys come up with such original creative sketches, you know, because it's just, yeah. we see so many other shows. It's just, you know, sometimes they don't work. I've never seen a show where almost every sketch of yours is just hysterical and original. Thank you. I mean, the writers are fantastic and we just get to see it and come in and play. And I'm just grateful to have creative control. You know, when we see the characters, we're able to pitch how we think we, we want them to look, how we envision their hair, their nails. I mean, we are able to to really design these characters. And so it's a group effort. Now with this comedy troupe, like, like a lot of other comedy troops have done, they've gone on tour at one point. Can you bring some yeah. of these sketches live on stage for us someday? Look at you, but you're manifesting something big. Maybe we will. <laughs> Maybe we will. I, I think some of these characters on stage would be hilarious. I would love to see them live. So yeah. I hope so. Because Little Britain it does it, you know, a comedy yeah. troupe over in it. Also Monty Python has done it, Kids in the yeah. Hall. A Black mm -hmm. Lady Sketch Show has got to go on tour sometime. Look, I you pitched it, you spoke it. So it's out of the universe now. And Sky, you kick off in Las Vegas, all right? This is yeah. the place you do it. <laughs> got to. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I adore all of you. I hope to meet you in person someday. And uh, thanks for all the laughs. Thank you so much. This has been a pleasure.